right, guys. This is something that um, this was asked about, but I figured I'd finally get around to it. Because it's Wednesday, and it's a whatever Wednesday video. So, yeah, whatever. So, yeah. This was a heater that you saw in the background of my previous video with that uh, Sencord register booster thing. And Tori actually commented on that video about whether or not he wanted to see the um, patent heater. And I figured I might as well. Because I actually bought this the same day at the same Goodwill as that Suncourt Register Booster fan. And like that, I paid four bucks. So, and also, like the Register Booster, it this too was there and I just decided to pass on it because I really didn't need it. But once again, it's the case of somebody else is looking at it, so no! Mine! Mine, damn it! So, yeah. Am I wrong to think that? Probably not. But, yeah. Well, either way, this is, in fact, a Patton. Heater plus fan by Patton. You got off, fan, low heat, medium heat, high heat. And I think it got yellowed over time, or maybe it was almond, but I don't know. If we look at the model number, which is upside down. This is a model number HF50. 120 volts, 60 hertz, 1500 watts, 12.5 amps. That's debatable because I got the meter right there. So, yeah. And it doesn't say where it's made, but I have reason to believe it was made in New Haven, Indiana. Circa 1990-ish. And filters to make this unit a whole room air cleaner available from your dealer or write to filters PO Box 128 New Haven Indiana 46774. Quick, somebody write to that address. Get us some filters. <laughs> but no. I mean, I bought this because it was four dollars, and it was, and it seems to be a made in the USA, something you don't see anymore. And the blades are a little dusty, so. So yeah. Okay, so I think I've rambled on enough, so we'll start off on fan. And according to we'll draw on eighteen hundreds. Point one eight amp and sixteen point six watts. on low heat. We're drawing 533 watts and 4.4 amps. Medium heat. It's got the red light, so yeah, it's on. And this we're drawing 8.28, amps, and 972 watts. Here's a fun fact: this thing is gonna. I think running this heater on this kilowatt meter will be like the record because I have not ran anything higher than like 200 watts on this. So, we're going to see a first in this kind, folks. And... Go for the gusto! I don't know if you can see the coils. Three amps, 1,372 watts. So we're going, so we're running under spec, which is good. Despite the fact that the input, that the voltage coming to my house is like 125, so. Oh, 
high, medium, low, fan. And OFF spells off. I could probably stand to oil the motor. But probably because those blades are so deeply pitched, and probably I can oil it till I'm blue in the face and it won't matter. So, yeah. Let's try a little something. I'm gonna be trying something. Let's put it to, yeah. Let's get it to Watts and straight to high. Now let's see, let's, let's see if this pegs out from off to high. Apparently it doesn't. Because usually my fan motors when I, I think probably because when I switch the speeds it jumps, but. So and one more time OFF spells off. All right, that's it. I guess that's that. The brief show and tell, if you want to call it that, of the Patton heater model HF50 tested in conjunction with this kilowatt meter for the first time. First time I tested a heater with this thing and it seems to be pretty good. Made in the USA and all that neat stuff. And here's something that I saw on the on the cord. Well obviously this happened to be after the because I think you can have like a portable heater in the 60s at like 1620 it wouldn't have been any different but I don't know feel free to pause it if you want to read it and here's the other side the common sense safety system so yeah that's that So I guess until next time, wherever it is, I'm gonna thanks for watching, and the comment box is open.